Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Now let's see how we can calculate age from a given date table. So again I will take you to Power BI. Then uh, get data. Excel workbook. I will choose date functions. Then we'll open. Then I will choose uh, F6. So here we have uh, the birth date of each and every individual. So again, we'll click uh, Transform Data, and that will take us to Power Query Editor. And for me, now we need to get uh, the age of each and every individual. So we'll select the column for birth date and we'll go to add column. We'll click this icon for uh, date, then we'll choose the option for age. And here the age uh, has been given, but uh, the age is in terms of uh, days. So we need to change this one in terms of years. So we'll again select this column and go to rather click on this icon for duration. And for duration, we have quite a number of options, but we need uh, total years. So I'll choose uh, total years. And then our total years has been given in uh, decimal. So we need to change this into whole number. So again, I will uh, click on this 1.2. And I will change this one to whole number. Then from here again, now you can uh, add also a uh, suffix. So we can say 20 years, 45 years, 40 years, and all that. So uh, on the same column uh, for total years, I will go to, after rather after select, selecting this column for total years, I will go to transform. Then now we need to add the text. Uh, for suffix, we will use uh, the text function. We'll come here to format under uh, text column functions, format icon. Then I will come down here to add uh, suffix. Then now here we'll uh, I will touch on the uh, space bar. Just to create space between the word and the, the text, then I will write here uh, yes. Then okay. So now we have our uh, total years, and uh, we also have the, the suffix uh, uh, for the years. So I hope, ladies and gentlemen, you understood and. Thanks a lot for watching, so let's meet again on the next video.